From the moment the new stuff pack was released, and ever since the 4 Rent expansion pack dropped, many of us have been facing frustrating technical issues that have been impacting our gameplay. The Sims team has heard our cries for help and has taken swift action to address the newest issues with the latest e-patch they have dropped. I know, much like everyone else, my Sims world has been topsy-turvy with all of those pesky bugs and glitches. We've all been there, like I said yesterday, just trying to create the perfect Sims family or build our dream homes only to be plagued by unexpected crashes and wonky animations by our pixelated friends. It seems like the Sims universe has been throwing us some curveballs lately. But fear not, fellow Simmers. Despite EA, the Sims team is committed to working tirelessly to resolve the rest of the bugs and glitches that have been plaguing our gameplay experience. So rest assured that our virtual worlds will soon be running a little bit smoother. They are also committed to continuing their work to resolve the remaining technical issues, ensuring that we can all enjoy our gameplay to the fullest again, ensuring that we can all enjoy our gameplay to the fullest from when 4Rent was released. Now let's get into the newest e-patch that was dropped just hours ago. So, so today's update contains a number of critical fixes addressing the community's top reported issues over the past weeks. In the interest of deploying these fixes faster, this update will follow a staggered release Candice. That means the update is going to be for PC, Mac, and Xbox, and unfortunately for PlayStation, it's going to arrive just a little bit later. Updated some performance optimizations that had caused certain moodlets to inadvertently be removed from Sims on load, fix a crash that would occur if a tooltip was triggered when in the hover state on objects within a Sims inventory, fixed an issue with object picker UI menus that were in certain conditions were met, would interfere with Sims ability to run various give interactions, interactions where objects would be given to other Sims, like gifts and stuff like that. Once learned the woohoo interests of other Sims, well once once again be displayed accurately in the Sims profile panel. I've been having so many issues with learning things about Sims and everything just not popping up in their Sims profile panel, so this makes me so happy. For rent fixes, you should once again be able to successfully open the profile panel of another sim after eavesdropping on them and see any secrets that were learned about them. Crystal creations. Correct an issue where Sims' bodies would gradually change in size each time a Sim would put on or take off crafted jewelry. This issue primarily affected teens, adults, and elders, so literally everyone that could wear it. There was a minimal impact to young adults. They also said, while this issue will no longer occur, this update does not retroactively fix the appearance of Sims who had already been altered. Oops. So that means all of our sims that have been wearing the jewelry are not going to get fixed? There are two methods we can suggest for manually restoring your sims. You can restore an older save file that was saved prior to any crafted jewelry being worn on your sims. Pretty sure a lot of people don't have older save files saved as backups. I know I do, but not a lot of people do that. For players with the get to work, crafted jewelry can now be sold at retail businesses without being returned to the business owner's sim's inventory when traveling away from the retail lot. If a sim dies while wearing crafted jewelry, that jewelry will now be disassociated with the now dead sim when the jewelry is returned to the household's inventory. So the sim will no longer own the jewelry that has passed, if that makes sense. Updated some combinations of crafting jewelry that were resulted resulting in a gemstone color that did not match the crystal that was selected during crafting. But let's not forget the Sims team is not stopping there. They're committed to working tirelessly to ironing out the remaining bugs and glitches that still are lurking from the newest EP. Whether it's quirky animations, pesky pathfinding problems, or game-breaking crashes, rest assured that the Sims team has our backs even if EA doesn't. So if you've been holding off on diving back into 
continue your Sims adventures because of these technical hiccups. Now it's time to dust off your plum bobs, grab your favorite snacks, settle into your comfy gaming chair, and get ready to dive back into the world of The Sims. Let's show The Sims team some love for their dedication to trying to resolve these issues as fast as they can. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe for all the latest Sims news and updates. Until next time, happy simming!